Oops. Hey guys, so we are back and I figured to start off this uh, series by showing you some hacks and tips. So today I gave it, uh, gave myself the challenge to redesign my email footer because um, I currently rebranded my company and I want to go with something a little bit more professional but solid and a bit more minimal. You'll understand now when I show you. So. Um, today I'm going to screencast uh, some hints and tips on how to uh, create a very pretty email footer within a very short time. Uh, let me just show you here. So this is kind of the, the idea I've been aiming for today which has got my email footer and company contact details on here. Um, I'm going to be using OBS to do the screencast. And we're going to be using MailChimp in order to create this email footer. And you're probably going to think, why would you do that? Um, because it's a software for uh, developing um, email um, newsletters and so forth. But it actually has a nice tool in here to allow you to uh, build with a visual builder. So this is my Photoshop composition. And I made it in MailChimp and I've exported the HTML. So I've got the live HTML here and now I've got it in here in Atom, which is my, uh, the software I use for coding. And I'm just tweaking the code. So let's just go over this in a... Um, in, uh, so we're going to go over this by using OBS to screencast. So uh, let's just pan on over to there. Awesome, so we are now on the PC. Um, my Blue Yeti should be working, hopefully. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got my Photoshop composition of what I ideally want my um, email footer to look like. And the end results may vary because uh, we are trying to make this in a quick, uh, in a quick time period, but MailChimp does uh, help out a lot here. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and made the design and as you can see in the bottom left here, I've labeled as many layers as possible and have broken it down into many layers. Um, obviously using um, folders to uh, keep different elements in here. As you can see the mailing list has its own, um, its own footer here, um, its own folder. <laughs> what am I talking about? So once you do the design of the email footer you like, um, I suggest just highlighting all the layers like this, including the background layer, uh, right clicking and exporting as, I clicked on the wrong thing then, export as, let's bring this over here. So as you can see, we've got our different layers here. Uh, please make sure that you have ping selected and transparency. Um, so it'll just export just the areas with no background. As you can see, the social links here. Um, what you can do, you can break down these social links into smaller images again, um, and obviously save them in the layer section in the bottom right, so you can export them in their own um, as their own image, so, which I haven't done here. Um, the actual links here are going to go to a page I'm creating on my website, which will help people get in the get to the right social media profile. Um, obviously here I've got book a consultation which takes people to another page on my website which allows people to book consultations. Uh, a link here to the packages and these are linked to as well. Um, obviously linked to the phone numbers so if someone looks at this email on their phone um, it'll just allow them to make the phone call straight through if you know if that makes sense to you. So here is the kind of end result here. I still need to change the background image to the one I've used in Photoshop, which I'm gonna do in the code um, in just a moment. But we're gonna head on over to MailChimp. If you already don't have an account with MailChimp, I do suggest signing up with, with them. They are totally free um, up until a certain point. Uh, but let's head on over to templates here after you make an account with MailChimp. Uh, create template and then you want to select any one of these on here because you don't we're not going to use any of this stuff at all but let's just select one uh, for now and then what we want to do is just delete everything MailChimp literally gives us in the template so just delete all the modules we don't want anything off MailChimp at all 
you'd be surprised how easy this actually is and it gives you very professional um, email footers um, so let's just continue deleting all this we want to get rid of the social media stuff down here we want to get rid of the MailChimp um, opt-in and opt-out opt -out selection this section here will stay and the header section will stay but we can remove that in the code later on we literally just want a blank template like this and on the right here you can see different elements so depending on the way you have created your email footer you can go ahead and use these yourself um, I like to keep it minimal and like use my own design assets so what I'm going to do is drag over um, this box hex section here. If I bring up my Photoshop composition on the right here, you can see that uh, my email footer has an overall um, box to it, as you can see. So what we could do is just get the color picker, take the background color, <clears throat> uh, the, the overall background color for now. Later on, we will apply the image to that. And you can go to style here, and you could just put the style of the color of the background there so you can see that right by here if you go to content it'll show you what contents in the box so what we need to do now is to get these different assets that we've uh, exported from Photoshop and bring those into MailChimp it's up uh, you can actually use the text as an image because I personally don't feel it but it means that much in an email signature but um, you can actually use Cirrus as Aaron Davis lead uh, creative lead you can actually export this as an image or what I'm trying to say is that you can actually just type this into MailChimp like so and style the text totally up to you but let's just go and import um, as many images onto here as possible that we've exported so by here you can see a little content manager so we'll start off by bringing in can I bring in multiple images no I can't so let's start off with the the initial logo just insert straight away float that to the left so if you go back to the composition I've created, underneath that will be the links to uh, my website and let's just get the cursor down under here. Um, a telephone number, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we're gonna clean the code up after we do this section. So don't you worry if the code is gonna, if you feel the code is gonna be a bit too ugly here. We could just pad it out like that. This is very hack and slashy. I, I am a professional web and graphic designer, but if you're in dire need of creating an email footer in such a short space of time, I do recommend um, going through this process yourself. Um, so what we can do here, we can add more images. Um, I'm gonna jump cut now, but we're just dumping as many images in the correct order as possible onto this document. Uh, as you can see the email, list opt-in options there now uh, book a consultation so we're just literally just dumping all these images onto this document isn't this like <laughs> the most uh, sort of like easiest way to do things i mean yeah it's, it's just so easy so as you can see the free uh, free images are at the bottom right by here let's just move those over uh, the only thing missing now is the social links. Like I said, I'm going to link these out to a standalone page, which will then redirect again when people click on this from an email. But we've got these on here. These float these to the right. And we can see we've kind of got something very similar to what we got in Photoshop. This is amazing, right? And we haven't coded anything. We've literally got the graphics on there. Absolutely outstanding. So what you can do now these individual images as you can see if you double click on here You can put a link here. So I could just put my web address on here my company profile website designer juice insert image link Same on these if you're going to import these individually or why not just double click on them and you can insert a link on these images absolutely unreal um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and finish this and I'll show you how to export it and to um, optimize the code for whatever email client you use. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so you can see that I've got the layout as close as I can to the initial design using the builder itself. So we, we got to this stage, we're happy with this. So we're gonna save and exit this. And as you can see, we've got the email signature here go ahead and export as HTML. It'll just give you the raw HTML file, uh, which will be in your downloads folder. 
Let's go ahead and get to my downloads folder because that's going to help a lot. If I double click on it, we've got this, which will launch locally on your machine. So we can see that we're very close to what we want it to be like. There's no background image like the Photoshop composite, composition I made here. Uh, as you can see, there's a faint outline of uh, glasses going on here. Um, but yeah, we're super close. If you're happy with that, you can roll with this. In my opinion, this email footer, it's a lot better than a lot of IT companies um, I see anyway. Um, but the design is very representative, representative of what I've made in Photoshop, which is how long did it take me to do this? Apart from the jump cut, which I was away for about 30 seconds. Not long at all. We've got email footer ready to uh, apply to our website. Uh, one thing I do recommend, though, is some email clients don't like uh, typical HTML. Um, especially styling where the style is not in line and by in line it does um, if you have a style uh, actually I'll just go into this and show you I don't know how well on you guys are mm -hmm. so as you can see here there's a style bracket um, it's not very helpful for different types of email clients so what you can do once you download this you can just look at the source file, wherever you want to use a text editor like this. I currently use Atom, which is free and very robust. Then you can use it for multiple different things. Or you can just inspect the uh, view source code. So once you do that, copy all of it and then just go to Google MailChimp CSS in Liner, search that and at the top here, you will get MailChimp's very own CSS in Liner tool. So you can copy the code here. Uh, convert and there we go we've got some inline CSS along with the tables um, it's totally up to you this option but once you paste it pardon me once you paste it into your email editing to uh, your text editing tool all, all this inline style here uh, just hit delete and then you've just got the bare bones um, HTML Next thing you want to do here is make sure you get rid of some of this header text. As you can see, there's like the subject line here. Um, someone's ringing me at the moment. I uh, don't know who it is. Uh, go away. Okay, they're gone. So as you can see on here, you've got some of the MailChimp um, inserts here. Uh, you can just totally remove these because as you understand MailChimp's are for building web pages. So we wanna get rid of that. If we also look at the, the signature we generated, at the bottom here, we can see that there's a gray marker which uh, Mail MailChimp puts there by default itself. So if you go back to the code here, we can just go down to the table and literally just rip the table out. So if you've got table end here and table start, Let's just do that, save this, let's open this back up and bada beam, bada boom. So we got an email template here. As you can see, the text has changed. I do suggest leaving it like this uh, solely because um, email clients like to take over what sort of tech, uh, what sort of font families in it anyway. So you can't really do too much about that, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you've got your own email signature so once you've uh, removed that code that you don't need in here the stuff that MailChimp has in itself just highlight the code um, so control A and then control C to copy it all then go to your favorite email client and obviously that's totally different here you'll have to go on Google to find out how to add HTML email signatures to your uh, to your email client, whatever one you use, if that if that's Mac or whatever, but just paste it in, and you've got this. So uh, yeah, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, this has been quite eye-opening to you. If there's anything you want me to go over, please let me know. Um, I do recommend opting in for my email list, which uh, there's a link in the description below, uh, which I can go into a lot more detail with this and make more. Uh, writer written tutorials if that makes perfectly sense to you so yeah hopefully this has been very helpful for you guys and um, make sure you hit the subscribe button um, any suggestions for future videos please let me know I am always here to help 
And uh, yeah, this has been quite exciting. I literally just did this and thought maybe I should just share this straight away because it's just such a good uh, such a good process to make email signatures in a short space of time. And obviously, if you're doing this for a company which has multiple employees, you're literally just swip swatching. Uh, you're literally swapping out the information on you. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again. So peace out.